it's the world since Aaron Dick's arms and we're gonna be reacting to a my story animated video if you guys don't know what's a my story animated video it's basically this channel where basically they're supposed to make real life animation videos about teenagers and adults but they come out as fake doesn't make no sense or they just steal it from reddit or they just come up with it and it doesn't make no sense so this one is my cat got me pregnant which i actually haven't seen this yet um i just saw it um when i searched up my star animator i was like yeah let me actually you know what let me check out this video because i'm like how does your cat get you pregnant so i'm like yeah you know what let me check out this video so yeah since hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoyed the video please if i upload a new video comes to it since Let's get to the video. In three, two, one, we are back on and cheese. Hello there. My name is Amber, and I'm 19 Hi, Amber. years old. I want to talk about how my cat ended up causing me to get pregnant. I know that sounds really out there, but I promise you, it makes more sense if you keep listening. It's a bit of a crazy tale, but in the end, I think you'll understand why I made such a preposterous claim. I want to first tell the slightly crazy tale of my mother first as unfortunate events seemed to run in the family. For quite a long time, she was with a man named Jack. She absolutely was in love with Jack what? ever since high school. And what does this have to do with, your, with you getting pregnant? Actually, shut up. I haven't saw the video yet, so maybe this does have something to do with you getting pregnant, but I feel like this is this has nothing to do with you getting pregnant. This is just sad filler, but let, let's just see. Let's just see. Needless to say, she dumped him on the spot. Now, the friend who tipped her off, his name was Mark. Mark and Jack had been close friends as well, so that was why he was able to find out about him seeing another woman. Mark was very kind to her not, and consoled her through the sadness she felt sure. at finding out nah, Jack nah. betrayed her. Let's get hold of it. it wasn't too long before they were both dating instead. Jack long forgotten by both of them. They were together for over two years, and they never had any problems together. Neither of them cheated on the other, they never fought or had arguments, it all seemed perfect. It was so perfect, in fact, that they wound up getting married. It seemed like my mother had found the perfect guy after her fallout with her cheating boyfriend. Things were never that perfect, however, and neither of them could have predicted what a jaded lover could do when scorned. Jack had started to plan a way to destroy their relationship in petty jealousness. Wait, why? My mother was at home one day, cleaning and doing other oh, so what does, life duties. What does this have to do with you getting pregnant? Do, do I need to Jack, skip something? Now nah, you know what? Now nah, nah, you know what? I might as well watch the, the the whole video because usually reaction commentary channels is usually just skip to some parts. Instead, I'm actually just going to watch the whole thing. ...was showing early symptoms of dementia and was asking about her, apparently still thinking they were together. It sounds like a pathetic attempt at an excuse to me, but my mother still decided to head over to his house and see. When she arrived at the house and knocked on the door, Jack was the one to answer and let her in the house. Unsurprisingly, hmm. Jack's mother didn't appear to be there. When my mother turned to demand what Jack was playing at, he suddenly pushed against her and started to kiss her. After the initial shock, oh, so I guess that's sexual Jack abuse. Slapped him hard across the face. She yeah, that's that's sexual abuse. Jack, okay. Fuming and outraged that he had devised such an elaborate plan to get her out to his house, my mother wasn't sure what to do when she got home. She was unsure if she should tell Mark about what had happened or not. Jack hadn't done anything too bad to her, but it was possible he could become a problem in the future. She was still debating on when to tell him about a week later, but then she found mm, out she was pregnant. The whole incident was pushed to the back of her mind as she started making plans with Mark about having a baby. Everything seemed happy again. But then Jack decided uh, to completely destroy their relationship. Okay, but what? Messages to my father with pictures we're like three minutes in the video. This is a ten minute video, by the way. What does this have with your cat getting you pregnant? Like, footage from it. what? Conveniently cutting out the part. Like, where she okay, your mom got pregnant. Congrats. Mark was upset over this, and my mother. What does that? What does this have with you, really with your cat getting pregnant? I, I don't get this. Apparently, having already decided that he could no longer trust her. I, I don't get this. I, I, his, I really don't. Which it was, obviously, but he couldn't be reasoned with. My mom was about five months pregnant when they got divorced, and I'm sure Jack was so thrilled to hear about that. Still, my mother didn't go back to Jack, because now she despised him for sabotaging her marriage. She decided to stay single and get a job to support herself, refusing to let a man hold her back anymore. She gave birth to me months later, 
and she was living a stable life with a stable job, able to be a strong single mother. She was a strong female role in my life growing up, and it almost made up for the lack of a father figure in my life. Mm. We were happy. I was happy. I never had any siblings in my life, but I did have my cousin. My mother's sister came around a lot after my father left, preaching about how unreliable men were and how she didn't need a man. She always okay. tended to bring her own kid, who was around the same age as I was. So I always saw my cousin as almost like a sibling, as we played together and grew up together. My cousin was always a great person to be around, and he was always so kind and conscious about me and how I was feeling. Things got a little weird. Yeah, next time I'm actually just going to skip some of the part because this literally has... What does this have with your cat getting you pregnant? Like, we're about to be... Hold up, oh, wait, hold up. We're now halfway through the video, and I still don't see a cat. I don't see your cat getting you pregnant, and like, but that was my stance like I don't, I don't get this. Things got tense between us, and we stopped hanging out as much for obvious reasons. I was about seventeen when I met Lucas. I met him at the local pet shop, where I was picking up some wild bird seed. I enjoyed going down to the park and scattering seeds for the local wildlife, as I found it rather relaxing. He looked so cute with his uniform on and mm. working with the animals. We wound up exchanging numbers, and from then on, it was history. We met all, right. all the time when we were both available, and I just absolutely adored him. He had these little dimples on his cheeks that would appear when he smiled, and I just couldn't resist his charm. When I graduated from high school, he showed up after the ceremony and presented me with a little kitten. He was so cute. Okay, so now we're getting into the cat part, but like we're like six minutes... Six minutes into the video, and now we only got four minutes, so I want to know. How could I not just love this man? That's why I said yes when he asked me to marry him, of course. Lucas had aspirations So wait, did Lucas get you pregnant, and then once he figured that out, he left you, and then... I was focused on getting my own higher education as well. Is this at the cat? I wasn't entirely sure what hold I up, wanted no, to uh, do with up. my life, but I knew exploring different college courses would help me find my way. It was because of this that we both decided to hold off on having any kids quite yet. We were also pretty young, and we had all the time in the world to settle down and start a family when we were ready. I had originally started taking birth control pills, but it turns out the extra estrogen in them caused me to have severe migraines, and my blood pressure shot up. Okay. My doctor wound up taking me off of them, stating he feared I would have a stroke or develop a clot in my lungs. With that prevented, uh, okay, dose, okay. We decided to just stick with the. We're about to be. We only have three minutes left. How? So M most of this is just filler. Most of this, most of this is just filler. How, how did you? I don't think her cat got really got her pregnant. And my husband all the time. He would constantly come over uninvited and cause a scene. Lucas was starting to become upset with me because of it, claiming that our relationship seemed too odd to be just cousins. I was annoyed that he would even think like that, but my cousin did have a weird kind of crush on me. But he should still trust me that nothing was going on. We tended to fight uh, okay. with my cousin, and I honestly just wished he would just disappear from our lives. I loved him like family, but he was starting to interfere with my happiness and my new marriage. Everything just got worse when I found out I was pregnant. My husband went ballistic, claiming it couldn't be his because we had been using protection. He had the nerve uh. to accuse me of sleeping with my cousin and getting pregnant that way. I was so upset that he would assume the worst of me, that I left the house in tears. My own husband couldn't trust that I wouldn't sleep with my own cousin. Hmm. A nightmare. I sat down at the Okay, but where, where did you get the idea that your cat got you pregnant? All right, I, all right, you got, you, you're, you know, you got pregnant. I want to know how. Like, did you actually, like, did you actually sleep with a cat or? Until it was near evening and I had to go back home. I decided to check the condoms we had. Maybe they had expired or something? When I jumped out the packages to examine them, I noticed little marks on the wrappers. I looked closer at them and saw they appeared to be little teeth marks that punctured the wrappers. Hmm. I started to suspect that my cat had jumped on our nightstand and chewed them. I couldn't believe this was happening. I was being accused of cheating with my cousin when, in reality, the cat he had gotten me had unintentionally sabotaged our contraceptives. I wanted okay. to cry, the absurdity of the circumstances nearly driving me to hysteria. 
At least I could prove to my husband that it was indeed possible that our contraceptives had failed due to a furry problem. I wound up going to Okay, so yeah, they clicked me. Basically, basically her, So basically her cat actually didn't get pregnant. She actually did get pregnant with her with a man, but the cat actually broke their condom. So basically the cat is kind of she you guys know what I mean, right? The cat um broke their condoms. They, her own the man, wh whoever, whatever his name is, still used the condom, and then basically an now they blame. Now that she didn't want to see our marriage fall apart due to lies, like her own did. I understand that she only has the best in mind for me, but is that really what I should do? My own husband couldn't trust that I wouldn't hop in bed with my own cousin and make a baby when I had explicitly stated I didn't want kids right now. He hadn't even been home since the incident, but I was supposed to just forgive him for all of that? I do love him, but I don't know how we're going to get past this and trust each other again. Alright guys, so that was the video. You guys enjoyed the video. Damn, they didn't even explain it. So basically, this is kind of clickbait. So basically, the... So basically, she really, you know, didn't get... Okay, she got pregnant, but, you know, it wasn't the cow who got her pregnant. It was another... It was like... The uh, the man, the new man. I actually forgot his name. It wasn't the cousin. It was that other person. I I, I, I really I don't remember their their names. I think either they didn't say the names or yeah. Bas so basically, but I'm not gonna lie. I would have clickbait. I, cl I would have clickbait it too. I mean, of course people are is going are going to check this out and say, wait, how did your cat get you pregnant? So, um, you know. but still, still. The, the cat didn't get her pregnant. It was um, the other man she was seeing, and yeah, and basically the cat just broke their condoms. So basically, whenever he was using it, the condoms weren't working. And yeah, so I mean, they can't they can't blame the cat. But I'm just saying, how did you not notice the condoms weren't weren't you know broken? Like like were you doing it? Did you not did you not feel your other thing? Well, during protection, like, I don't get that. I don't, I don't, I don't know how that happened. Maybe, maybe they, they honestly don't know this. They didn't notice because they was just too into it. Maybe, I don't know. Since, that's it, you guys enjoyed the video. If this video does good, I'll react to some other My Story animated videos. Because there are, like, a lot of ones that, you know, I could react to. Some I could try to see and see how that happened. And, yeah, because... Most of these are fake, and, um, some of these are real, like, um, some of these are, like, real, because some are, because I forgot one that is, um, real, hold up. Um, I don't remember what was the channel name, but once, when I do, uh, when I remember it, I'll, um, edit it at the end. So, yeah, since, that's it, if you guys enjoyed the video, please fine, we'll put a new video, comes to it. since, that's it, I'll see you guys later, bye, a peace. Alright guys, so during the video, I didn't remember who, um, what was, what was the channel, but I now do, it was Story Booth. So basically, this is actually, I feel like this is the actually only, um, story, my story animated, um, channel that actually, you know, does real life story videos. Like, hold up. Like, you can clearly tell this is actually not fake. Um, you know, they do have proof a little bit. Wait, hold up. Like, some of these are actually real. I'm not, like, I'm not lying. Like, if you want more explanation on why this is real, go check out Jarvis, wait, Jarvis Johnson, um, video about it, wait. Jarvis Johnson, my story animated. Yeah, um, he made videos about it, and, yeah, so, basically, these are, like, fake story animated videos, while Story Booth is the only one that makes real life story animated video so if you actually want to go check out one check out story booth because they really do make real ones and yeah since that's where if you guys enjoyed the video so i'm gonna play a new video comes to it since this is where i'll see you guys later bye peace